guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Glenda Chavez and on my channel you will find all kinds of DIY content today I'm gonna to be showing you how I transformed this old American solid wood dresser and nightstand into a desirable boho look so the brand of the dresser and nightstand is actually called Young Hinkle and after doing some research I found out it is part of a collection called the Windjammer from back in the 80s. So it is vintage and another really neat thing about this collection is the fact that it was actually featured in the 1980s E.T. movie so I thought that was pretty neat. So anyways I wanted to share that information with y'all just because I thought that it was pretty cool and it adds value to the dresser itself even though it's not the specific dresser set that was on the scene. I just think that it's really cool to know the history behind the actual brand and the collection. So without further ado let's go ahead and get started. So here is what the dresser and nightstand look like. They were given to me for free from my father-in-law, but I'm not really sure where he got them from. They had been painted and there was quite a bit of drip marks on it. A few of the drawers were off track, but otherwise in good condition. The inside of the drawers had a cool newspaper advertisement printout on them, so that was pretty neat. To start, I used some TSP solution to give this dresser and nightstand a good wipe down. I followed that with some clean water to make sure and remove any leftover residue. I will not be keeping the original hardware except for the hinges for the door. The rest I will put in my stash for future projects. And I think I speak for everybody when I say that stripping is not fun, but sometimes it's just, you know, necessary. I waited 15 minutes and then began scraping away the old paint. I didn't, but I would suggest using a plastic scraper to prevent causing any damage to the wood, unless you're really comfortable using a metal one. Remember to always follow through with some mineral spirits and some fine steel wool to get rid of any residue and tackiness. All right, so this is where we're at right now. We've got four of the seven drawers stripped and now I'm gonna work on the other ones. While I wait for the stripper to get to work on the other drawers, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually start um, sanding this down because I don't wanna waste any time, obviously. So I'm gonna start with 80 grit. Once I was done with the remainder of the stripping, I moved on to scuff sanding. So all the drawers are stripped now. I've sanded them down like you guys saw with 80 grit. I'm not gonna bother 
smoothing them out with something uh, with a higher grit just because I am going to be bleaching them and since bleaching them since it has water um, it is going to raise the grain a little bit so then I'd have to sand once again after doing that anyway I'm just going to bleach it and then uh, sand it smoother so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to be using a 50% water to um, bleach solution and it's a beautiful day out it's super sunny so i'm just gonna let them hang out in the sun so that they can dry out there so let's go ahead and do that This is what they look like after one coat. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a second one just because I feel like it's not as light as I would like. So let's go ahead and do another coat. I was pleased with how the drawer fronts looked with the second coat of bleach solution so I went ahead and sanded them smooth using 220 grit and sandpaper on my detail sander. Finally, it was time to prime. I applied two coats of this shellac Sinser bin primer. As soon as the primer was dry, I lightly sanded using a 220 sanding block to again make sure everything was nice and smooth, and wiped everything down to remove any dust before painting. Okay, so we are ready to start going ahead and spraying. I am going to be spraying. I'm not going to be using a paintbrush this time um, just because I feel like I'll get a lot smoother application since we already did have some paint on there. I want to make sure it can be as smooth as possible. I don't want any um, brush marks or anything like that, so I am going to be using my sprayer. Now, I posted on my Instagram story uh, a few days ago asking you what color I should go for this. I like to just kind of ask which color should I use um, and that's what I did and when I asked you guys I posted these two different colors this is more of like a purple pink blush color and this is a green color but that being said you guys ended up choosing this green now this green is actually a mix that I made out of some of the paints that I have here the colors that I'm using to mix to, to get this color green is let me see Pristine Wilderness by Valspar and Tricorn Blacks. I'm gonna mix the two to get the perfect shade that matches as close to this as possible. Using the color Knapsack Khaki from Melange Paints and some water, I created a wash so that I could faux stain wash the drawer fronts to try to disguise the small amounts of white paint left on the drawers 
that I was not able to remove. And then the fun really began. Using a stencil, I created a tribal pattern on the drawer fronts to further disguise the small amounts of white paint left. I felt like it would add the perfectly imperfect touch to make it look more intentional. Now I've done stenciling before on my channel and it can become very time consuming, so just keep that in mind when choosing how much stenciling you're willing to do. So remember that I had mentioned the three doors to the tall dresser were off track. We'll come to find out the guides that go on the drawer slides were broken. Thankfully I was able to find just the guides on Amazon and not have to replace the whole slides because otherwise it would have been quite expensive to replace. The only hardware that I reused was the hinges to the door. I sanded the old paint off and sprayed them with a little bit of flat black paint to match the new poles I added. Now let's remember what this dresser used to look like. and what it looks like now. All right, so let's go ahead and talk numbers. So remember, I got this dresser and nightstand for free from my father-in-law and I spent about roughly $60 in materials. I unfortunately don't have a set price for it just yet. I will be listing it on Facebook Marketplace as I do with all of my other pieces, but I don't have a set price to sell it for. Um, the reason being is because when I was doing research, I didn't find a specific price range for what this collection is actually worth. 
And given the history on the collection, I feel like I need to do a little bit more research just to know how to price it accordingly. If you happen to do some research and find it before I do, please let me know in the comments below. Let, let me know what you guys think of this new look on the dresser and nightstand. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel grow. And if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any uploads with me. You guys stay safe. As always, be kind and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.